Hello and welcome. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to read the parameters of a Mitsubishi 8700 drive. This is similar to the drive, the A500, in one of our other videos. This is really easy. What you do is you come over to the drive, you can do this while the car is running, and you hit the mode button. The mode button will display the parameter setting, zero. That's the one of the first parameters. If you want to scroll to individual parameters, you spin the dial, and there's plenty of parameters to read. And what you do, once you get to the parameter that you're desired, you press the set button, and it'll give you the reading, and you mark that down. What we can do, if you want to continue to the next reading, we can hit mode once, twice, till we go back, and then we could uh, repeat the same sequence again, mode, uh, turn the dial to the next uh, parameter value, hit set button, read it, and we can exit out twice, and we're back where we were. There's also another way of doing this, and you can do this on the older drives also. Uh, I try not to use a set button, uh, but you can do it this way. Uh, you hit the mode button, there's your parameter value, you hit the uh, set button, there's the uh, the value of the parameter itself. If you hit the set button again, it'll scroll to the next value. Okay, you hit, it, you hit the uh, set button again, you see the value, set it again, 4, you see it's 51, set it again, you see how it keeps scrolling? And then of course, hit the mode button twice to get back out. I prefer doing it the, the longer way, this way, if um, you accidentally hit the wrong button or what have you, you don't screw things up. Um, once you have your re once you have all your values written down, again, it'll be it'll be great to work with in the event that uh, uh, guys coming in at night time or other mechanics uh, rifle around with these values and change them. Or if you have to make changes yourself, it's always good to keep these values somewhere will be of help to you. I hope you found this little lesson useful. Thank you, and have a nice day.